For now, three of the world's most recognized brands, Starbucks, Google, and Amazon, are all under fire in the UK for depriving Britain of millions of pounds through elaborate tax avoidance schemes. Uh, the tricks, of course, public outrage. And one action group has even come up with an unconventional plan to highlight what's been dubbed the company's, quote, immoral tactics. Uh, joining me now to talk more about this RT is uh, Polly Boyka, standing by for us in London. It's good to see you, Polly. First of all, let's talk about uh, just uh, exactly how much money is the country out of pocket due to the three giants' tax schemes and games. Well, these are three companies that dominate the UK economy. They have billions of pounds worth of turnover, but it looks like they pay very little corporation tax to show for it. And now uh, MPs are outraged by the fact that through very legal loopholes, these companies that they say are acting in an immoral way are managing to dodge millions and billions of pounds worth of tax every single year. And they want to try and put a stop to it now. Yeah, Polly, we're just hearing right now here on RT that according to uh, French, not British, but French tax authorities now demanding $252 million in back taxes and interest from online retailer Amazon. We're not talking UK, we're talking France there. But for now, uh, well, what about, I mean, the companies, we talk about this being called immoral. Just how did the companies manage to contribute so little or nothing to the Treasury without actually breaking the law? <laughs> That's a, certainly a big mystery. Well, it's all a case of financial trickery, Rory. It's about getting clever accountants that find countries with more favorable tax rates to base their UK headquarters in. So, for example, Google based themselves in uh, the Republic of Ireland. That's where, they, that's where they sell their advertising space from. Starbucks are based in Holland and Amazon are based in Luxembourg. So they manage to pay very little taxes through channeling their revenue through these countries. And of course, they also say that they make very little money in the UK, which MPs find very suspect. They say that they've been operating at a loss. For example, Starbucks said they've been operating at a loss for the last 14 years. And the UK is a very tough market. But governments are getting increasingly wary about these tactics and indeed these loopholes that need to be solved because they're losing a lot of money in uh, tax revenue through these very clever schemes of financial trickery. Well, as, as, as you say, some of these companies saying that they're, they're not necessarily in the hole, but they're not making the profits that they, that they used to be making. Uh, you talk about uh, people saying these are immoral tactics. I, I suppose it can in some way or another uh, be, be familiar with the idea of offshore accounts. For example, many people have offshore accounts in the Cayman Islands. And perhaps that's, that's as you say, the tricky one, one of the methods of trickery the companies that could be using. What about a public reaction, Polly? Surely, surely there must be uh, people in the public or even MPs who are outspoken about this. Absolutely. Well, the MPs yesterday that were grilling these executives and were watching them squirm and make excuses for these schemes said that their excuses were laughable. But unfortunately, Rory, for much of the ordinary public here in the UK, it's just not funny anymore. They say that, you know, austerity measures are taking hold, that the public spending cuts in the public sector are really making life difficult for people. And we spoke to a few people out on the streets and this is what they told us. Let's have listen to what they said if we're paying tax on things like pasties and we have to foot the bill for that and guess we're paying tax on coffee as well why should they not pay the tax that we're paying them to pay i guess it's up to someone to close the loopholes really because whilst they're still there i guess it is probably tempting for them to take as much profit as they can i don't really think it's fair no but you still buy starbucks coffee it's not even mine it's his <laughs> So as you can see, people are very unhappy about the fact that they perhaps have to save money every day and maybe not go without a little luxury such as a Starbucks coffee on their way to work. But these massive corporations are getting tax breaks legally and they're avoiding paying the taxes that people are forking out for their coffee with. So uh, they say it's just not fair and uh, public anger about it really growing here in the UK. Well, Polly, it's just the same old story throughout time. The rich getting richer, the poor getting poorer. You know, you raise a really valid point there. And also those people you spoke to briefly about the Eurozone, the EU troubles as well. And yet here are three of the biggest giants in the world, Amazon, Starbucks and Google, making a mint, making billions and yet basically sticking a knife in the back of MPs and the taxes as well. Uh, some activists have already uh, suggested a plan to, to highlight what they're calling this immoral behavior, certainly of at least one of the companies. Uh, what exactly uh, has been suggested so far? Yes, well, this uh, 
anti-cuts group, these campaigners against austerity measures here in the UK, they say that in December they're going to launch a national day of action against Starbucks. What they're going to do is they're going to occupy the multitude of Starbucks coffee houses that we have here in London. You walk down the street, you see them everywhere, and they're going to make them into homeless shelter, they're going to make them into refuges, into creches, because that they say that Starbucks have these immoral tactics and they need to give back to society. So they're going to be occupying these coffee houses. But indeed, it's not just the anti-cuts campaigners. There's a general feeling among the British public that people want to boycott these large multinational companies because of their immoral schemes and the way that they do uh, just take from the public and put very little back into the UK economy, which, as we know, is struggling at the moment. And really, for people here in the UK, very difficult to make ends meet at the moment. So this is a topic that's rousing a lot of anger from the British public. Yeah, raising a lot of anger, but it's not entirely surprising. You know, multi-billion dollar multi-corporations are here. Starbucks, Google, Amazon making a mint, and yet nobody is seeing any of their taxes. Artie's Polly Boyka, not the last we're hearing of this, I'm sure. Live in London, thank you.